no grand arson. I pull up with dolls and they bite and I bark. Ooh, I am the king and I'm serving all white like I'm a fucking park. Oh shit. We here with Crip. This is the first time I'm ever, ever listening to Crip. So I, I, I wonder what he what he sounds like. What, what he rap? Like I know he's a rapper. What he raps about? Like this is gonna be my first ever Crip song. So yo, let's get into this shit. But before we do, what is good, my friends? What is good, my family? What is good, my people? What is good, my everything? It's your boy P D P Pootie the Plastic, and just like that, we back. We plays no games, no games play. Come on, man. Today we got Crip, Bad Friend, my first song ever listening to Crip, bro. This is gonna be this is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but yo, let's get this shit popping. Shout out to all of you guys out there that's been supporting me since day one. Cindy, shout out Cindy, Lola, Kelton, Collabo, Wolfman, uh, Aquatic Path, all you guys, shout out all you guys, man, I'll be remembering your names, bro, I love y'all, bro, anyway, before we get into this song, please, for me, for me, hit that clicky, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell, hit that every time, every time, because I'm here for you. You here for me, and we all here for together. You dig? Cause I dug. Let's go. Crypt, bad friend. Let's get this shit popping, y'all. No times wasted. Let's go. Oof. Two thirty in the morning, and I get a text from my friend. She said, "I need you right now," and I already knew what that meant. Two thirty in the morning, you get a text from your friend. Damn, two thirty in the morning. Well, at that time, I'm working. <laughs> I work overnights. In the morning, and I get a text from my friend. She said, "I need you right now," and I already knew what that meant. See, me and this girl, we think alike. Too many phone calls spent for me to know she's thinking about her life and how it's gonna end. Ooh. See, on the outside. Ooh, imagine getting a text from your friend, your loved one, your fa a family member, your mom, your dad, about them thinking about how their life is going to end. Right now, the vibe I'm getting from this song is that she's under some kind of depression, anxiety. You know, 2.30 in the morning, that shit happens a lot to a lot of people. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm getting right now. Let's see where this goes. Many phone calls spent for me to know she's thinking about her life and how it's going to end. See, on the outside, we're happy and we show it to the world. And we put on this fake exterior so the truth won't unfurl. But I know. Mm. Yo, that's that's facts, bro. People be put in this fake exterior. The, the, there's a lot of depressed people who put that fake exterior. Bro, like my man, Chester Bennington. I'm going to always go back to him. Happy birthday, Chester Bennington, by the way. He was under a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, and bro, he put this fake exterior of him being happy. That shit was all fake when deep inside, he's fucking sad, he's hurt, he's depressed. Bro, that shit happens. And we show it to the world, and we put on this fake exterior so the truth won't unfurl, but I know who she is, cause it's like looking in a mirror. All these smiles and cries for help, and it couldn't be any clearer. So I pick up the phone and call her, as she answers through her cries. She's hyperventilating, telling me that she wants to die. My heart starts to race, and my thoughts begin to blur. We're nine hours apart, but I'm seconds from losing her. I try oh to call God, oh my God. Nine hours apart, but seconds losing her, bro. That they live far away from each other. There's no way he could get to her. There's no way he could be there with her, you know, during her, her, her anxiety, her depression, her crying times, bro. Like, she's hyperventilating right now. Like, she needs him. And all they could do is talk on the phone and text, you know. But, like, sometimes that ain't, that ain't even enough. You know, you need, to, you need to be there physically with that person to help them, you know, out of this depression, out of this sadness, you know. 
Ooh, boy, this shit is heavy, Crip. Shit is heavy. And my thoughts begin to blur We're nine hours apart But I'm seconds from losing her I try to calm her down And tell her what she means to me mm. Even though we're new friends She's seen a side that no one sees Told her listen to my breaths I'm right here Please breathe You got so much left to do Stay here Don't leave mm. The cries got even louder As the breaths got short I told her listen to my words As I fell down to the floor Stay with me I'm here Let it out It's okay Just cry till you can't cry No more tears down your face mm. It's hard, though, bro. It is hard. You know what I mean? Like, to, to really calm somebody down when they under that kind of depression. When they under that kind of depression. It's kind of hard, man. You know, like, especially when you're not there, like I said before. But all you can really do is comfort the person on the phone and just be with the person until they really calm down. And that's tough, man. I don't know. I never really had. Well, I had one of my boys, man. I had one, one, one of my boys. He was in serious depression, man. He ain't really talk about it. He didn't really want to talk about it. But we was always there for him. Me and my other boys, we we like a family, man. We more than boys. We a family, and we helped him through it. We helped him through it. You know, he he went out with us or whatever. We took him out. He yo, he lost a lot of weight, bro. This guy was. I'm talking about. He was full weight and everything bro and when i seen him like he he ain't he ain't sleep he 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 don't fucking he ain't eat he didn't eat he was skinny he was skinny you know what i mean he his face was dragging bro he just like depression kills bro depression kills if you ever have somebody under that kind of depression that's close to you be there for that person for real a couple minutes went by and the crying finally stopped But not because she did, because the phone call dropped I called her back quick, just hoping I'd hear hello But I just kept getting met with the sounds of those dial tones I froze, what do you do in that moment? Do you call the police, or do you hope that she's over it? Get a hold of her parents and tell them the situation I'ma be real with you bro, I'll call the police Yo, if I have somebody close to me like that, I'm going to call the police and I'm going to let them know your address and that you under serious depression and you having suicidal thoughts. You having so it's it's crazy. Let me go back to suicidal thoughts. In my job, there was this girl that there's this girl. She still lives there. She's good now, bro. She, I got an, an anonymous email at my work email, right from from her from her friend from her friend saying that that yo she's having suicidal thoughts you know so when i see her come home or whatever just like just like pay attention to her see her vibe like feel her out and i'm like damn what the fuck do i do and mind you this is my work email so i ended up oh she walked in she walked in like maybe half an hour later she walked in and I had to speak to this girl, like, you know, fill out, fill a vibe. And she seemed fine, but I could tell there was something a little off. You know what I mean? So, like, maybe I gave it, like, maybe, and I feel like I gave it too long, but I gave it, like, an hour, and I did, like, a fake call. I fake called her, right? I, my bad for telling this story, but I, I got to tell the story. I fake called her, right? And, and I said, yo, you got a food delivery, you know, just to just to see her her state of mind, just to see how she is, and 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 then she was like, I don't I don't got no food delivery or whatever, and I'm like, oh okay, you know, it must have been a wrong apartment. I'm sorry, but just to see, you know, if she's still alive. You feel me? But there's nothing I could do at that time because like, I don't know her like that. You know, so all I could do is just write an email out to management. And then what they did was the next day they had cops. The next day they had cops come in and they escorted her out the building, bro. They had like, I don't know why they had riot shields and riot gear and all that. But they escorted her out the building for like, you know, to get evaluated for suicidal thoughts and shit like that. I don't know. That's crazy, bro. For suicide. Whoo, this is tough, Crip. Please, or do you hope that she's over it? Get a hold of her parents and tell them the situation Just so they can pull her from college and end her aspirations Leave it alone and hope it was just an escapade Pray from a text from her in the morning saying that she's okay Call anyone you know just to make sure that she's alive Ignore it completely and pray to God that she survived I let it go, she must have wanted to be alone I guess that this was just 
Pills and alcohol don't mix, man. Pills and alcohol do not mix. They say it on every fucking label. Do not do that, guys. I she survived. I let it go. She must have wanted to be alone. I guess that this was just another one of her episodes. She never told no one about this depression she dealt with. And who See, was that? I knew it. I knew it was depression. I knew it was anxiety. It was just all, you know, all, everything she's doing. You know, crying and calling at 2.30 in the morning and to her friend, you know? Like, I knew it was depression. One of her episodes, she never told no one about this depression she dealt with. And who was I to air out her secrets that would be selfish? So I lay down in my bed and I rested my head. Closed my eyes and drifted peacefully to sleep. Then I dreamt that I would see her tomorrow and I would speak to her then. Till I was woken to several missed calls and texts that she's dead. My heart... Damn, she died. That's tough, bro. Especially that you live nine hours away. Like, what do you do in that moment, bro? Like, do you literally just catch a flight? But either way, you catching a flight from, from wherever you at nine hours? Bro, anything can happen in nine hours. A lot can happen in nine hours. So that's a tough situation, bro. When I would speak to her then Till I was woken to several missed calls and texts that she's dead My heart broke She downed a bottle of pills She took him shortly after our call in it And it felt surreal She was a friend of many A student athlete at a school A daughter, a sister, a very special jewel at the funeral She had a daughter too, bro That's tough, man When you leaving your, your kids behind And, and, and they, they don't have that parent Oh my God, that that mother figure, bro. Oh, man, that's that's sad, bro. Student athlete at a school, a daughter, a sister, a very special jewel. At the funeral, they told us that nobody had a clue that they could have saved her life if only that they knew. And if someone at the funeral had ever felt depressed to get some help, so that your face will never end up in the press. There wasn't a dry face in the room. Only 22 years old, an entire life in front of her, and now she's laying there cold. If only I'd called someone. 22 years old. She was dumb young, bro. Super young. I, I, there's a, there'd be a lot of young kids out there, too, with depression. Young adults. They're not kids. There's a lot of young adults who are out there with depression. Listen, guys, if you have some sort of depression, some sort of, like, anxiety on you, and you, you just feel like the walls are closing in, the walls are closing in, bro, please seek help. Seek help. Speak to somebody close to you. You know what I mean? Because they can help you. They can help you. Whether you believe it or not, they can help you. You know what I mean? Like, that's why if you guys ever need somebody to talk to, and I say this a lot during these kinds of videos talking about depression and anxiety, you know, if you ever need somebody to speak to, please, yo, DM me. DM me, bro, and I'll speak to you. I'm a very good listener. You know what I mean? Like, I'll give you all good advice, you know, as much good advice as possible. But yo, if you need somebody to speak to, please speak to somebody, bro. For real. An entire life in front of her, and now she's laying there cold. If only I'd called someone, we wouldn't be here now. And nobody would be sad, and I wouldn't feel like a letter down. But that's not what happened, because instead of going to bed, I called every person I knew to check to make sure you weren't dead. I stayed up seven hours praying every second of it, just hoping to get a text saying that you weren't heaven sent, but then I got it. You told me that I had no right and blocked me on everything. And we ain't talked since that night. Was I a bad friend? Options? I had none. I guess I'd rather be a bad friend than a sad one. I just got mind fucked right now. Can we go back to that? Hold on. I just got mind fucked right now. So is she alive? Are you okay? Look, I need you to say something. Seriously. I'm seriously getting worried. Please call me. You had no right. All right, hold on, son. I gotta go back. Word heaven sent, but then I got it. You told me that I had no right and blocked me on everything. And we ain't talked since that night. Was I a bad friend? Options? I had none. I guess I'd rather be a bad friend than a sad one. Hmm. Yo, I'm I'm lost. Yo. Yo, Crib, I'm kind of lost right now. So, so wait. 
my bad this is a dope song dope song but I, I i need to get this i need to get this so was she really having suicidal thoughts or like depression or anxiety like what's going on here you're not a bad friend for trying to reach out bro i'm really mind fucked right now hold on was she alive the whole time <sighs> Yeah, what the? Yeah, I gotta see that again, bro. Why, yo, if you, if, please, if y'all know what's up with this video, let me know in the comments below. What's your, what's your thoughts? Like, I'm kind of confused at the end. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to get it. But going back to like anxiety and depression and and all that bad stuff, bro. If you need to see somebody, please do. Please do, bro. I'm here for you. If you need to speak to somebody and if, I'm pretty sure your family members will be there for you too. You know, anyway, that song was dope, Crip. That song was dope. A little confused at the end. Maybe I'm not, I, it wouldn't, maybe it went too fast for me. You know what I mean? At the end, but I'm trying to get it. I'll get it. Don't worry. I'll get it. If, if y'all get it, please comment below. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think. Anyway, that song was dope, Crip. First time listening to Crip. And I liked it. I liked it. I liked the meaning of the song. You know what I mean? And bro, if you have, if any of y'all know more of Crip songs that are really dope, please comment below too, man. I want to throw them in the pooty wheel. You feel me? And I'll do a Crip song, but it's, but I saw that he came out with this a few hours ago and I wanted to do this reaction. Anyway, I love y'all. We on the road to 2000. We growing fast, baby. We growing fast. We growing fast. Rapido. We going rapido. <laughs> so for me, hit the clicky, subscribe, like, bell, everything. All right, bro. I love y'all. Peace. I know Grand Arson. I pull up with thousand eight bite and I bark. I am the king and I'm serving all white like I'm a fucking parson. Bitch, you better not leave out the house with nothing. You know that I bought. Even though that I'm not moving with Drake, bitch, you know that I started it. Loving this